loves it's your girl dd and welcome or welcome back to the channel thank y'all so much for tuning in once again so i am back with another quick reaction video for you guys now this comes from a woman who says she has seven kids and seven baby daddies and she's all over social media talking about how much she gets in food stamps and how she's living her best life with her and her seven kids if you like the content make sure you subscribe donations 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 also hit that notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos or go live so i'm gonna stop talking per usual let's go ahead and get into the video here we go okay you guys yes i am a mother of seven kids seven kids i had my first child at 14 years old yes i had my first child at 14 years old i do not regret it he is well healthy and he's 19 right now god praise god yes you guys i have seven kids seven different baby daddies yeah seven different baby daddies i heard it you heard it right right here seven different baby daddies seven kids had my first child at age 14. Why does it seem like she's boasting about this? Are you really proud of being a teen mother? Like, is that something to really be proud of when you really think about it? Is that something that you're proud of that you had a child at 14? I don't understand what's, what, what, this is not something to boast about. In my opinion, for her to put it out there as if this is supposed to be a prideful moment is very, very telling. In my opinion, y'all let me know what y'all think, but let's continue. Yes, and I do receive 3K, 3,000 in EBT food stamps. Yes, 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 yes. We are so happy. We are so blessed. We are very thankful. Yes, we are happy where we're at in life right now. We are happy. Yes, we are happy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, like I said, it's going to be haters. You know, people going to be jealous and all that. Y'all can keep y'all little comments, but at the end of the day, my kids are taken care of. That all that matters, okay? That's it. That's all that matters? That's not all that matters. Where are the fathers? Where are all seven fathers? Are, are the fathers in the, in the children's lives? That's important too. What would possess anyone to, to go on social media and rant about being a teen mother and having seven children with seven different men and making it seem like this is the best decisions you've ever made in your entire life. And I'm not saying she should regret her kids because they're here, they're living and they're doing good, they're thriving. But why would you, as a grown person, make this seem like this is what somehow people should aspire to do or be a follow in your footsteps? I don't understand, that's, that to me, this is not a badge of honor. It's not something that you should be proud of that you were a teen mother and you have seven different men that you created children with and you've created a broken home. That shouldn't be something that you're boasting and bragging about. I just don't understand, but let's continue. We ain't worried about y'all, peace. So y'all yeah, mad because I'm a single mother with seven kids. I'm raising them by myself. Yes, I get child support. I get help from the government. I'm gonna get all the help I need, baby. Food stamps, $3,000 a month. You hear me? Hey, y'all just mad because I get three can food stamps. So what? I get all kind of snacks while I'm sitting here chilling or whatever, paying no bills. No bills. I'm on government assistance. My son back there with his snacks. Government assistance, three can food stamps. Seven kids with seven baby daddies. Have we all seen the lady who going viral who's shouting at the camera and telling us that we haters and we jealous. Uh, no, we're not. I don't think any of us aspire to have seven kids by seven different men. Only you wanted to do that. Right, I mean, exactly. As much as she's saying her kids are well taken care of, I mean, look, to have a, 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 a multitude of children is work. And to sit back and just, you know, decide to have a child, each child with a different pet, a different man. And, and even if she's getting child support, all the men really all there in those children's lives. It's like she's touting people you know saying that they are y'all mad because because you get to eat your snacks and you don't pay no bills and everybody else got to go out here and work hard and pay for theirs and pay pay their bills and pay for everything and she's sitting back rubbing it in people's faces like child i don't pay no bills and you too could go and have seven children by seven baby daddies to get child support to get government assistance and you too would have to will just sit back probably in government housing as well don't have to pay no bills no bills well if you don't have any aspirations or any dreams 
and you don't have men who are a man, because it shouldn't be seven different men, it would be much better, in my opinion, to have been married to a stable-minded man and you be stable-minded, but oh, part of that is missing because she was a teen mother at 14 years old. She didn't have a stable mind. So she was just out here getting to the D. She wasn't really thinking about the future. So the only recourse that she would have is to get government assistance. Cause in my opinion, government assistance just solely depended on that. It's at the bottom of the barrel. Almost as if you're doing this on purpose to keep having child after child after child after child so that you could continue to, to get more assistance and not really caring if the children have stable households. Because in my opinion, to have seven, seven children with seven baby daddies is reckless. That is not creating a stable household for those children. Now they may thrive and hopefully they do and they may grow up and be okay. Hopefully they do. You don't want to promote that, almost push that to make people think that that's the way that they should go when that's, that's completely something that you should not be doing. Of course, nobody's jealous of that. People are looking at the fact that you do get $3,000 of uh, food stamps. Yeah, because for food is expensive. So people probably might be like, well, damn, if they could get that and they're working, it, they could benefit from it. But it's unfortunate that the people who are going out here working hard and trying to make it don't get any kind of assistance like that. The assistance is given to the ones who are doing the bare minimum to provide for their own families while the government is paying 100% of for them and the people are out here working don't get any type of help in you know in between prices going up uh inflation all of these things they have to really thug it out while they're paying taxes and these people here sitting here don't pay no bills or whatever apparently according to her but you're getting all the assistance and all the help it's backwards in my opinion and not to take away from people who actually need the help but if you're able bodied and you can work you should go out and work and be able to make a living for yourself but just to sit back and just fully rely on the government for everything, it's crazy, but there are a lot of people who do it. You know, this is not the first video we've seen of this where the other one was talking about the same thing. She said, she gonna get government assistance, her children gonna get it, her grandkids, everybody gonna get it. Let's continue. The thing I'm jealous of is the fact that you're getting $3,000 in food stamps. That's the only thing I want. I don't want no seven kids by seven different men though. You can have that. And then you kind of trying to turn it into a whole personality, like it's a niche. Like all of your videos are surrounded around what you buy with the EBT card, uh, you having the seven kids by seven different men. Like it's embarrassing. It's absolutely embarrassing. You the type of woman who, when your boys grow up, they ain't gonna want nothing to do with black women because they associate black women to you, right? And how trifling and weird you were. And now they don't want nothing to do and they wanna get as far away from women like you as they possibly can. So they start dating outside their race. That's something y'all don't like to talk about. A lot of these boys' mamas be so embarrassing growing up that when they get older, they want to get as far away from women like they mamas they possibly can, and that's why they end up starting to date outside their race. But making your whole personality on TikTok, being a woman that got seven kids by seven different men, be for real. And then thinking that anybody is jealous of that or hating on that, I wish y'all never learned the word hating because y'all use that in any instance. And guess what? This ain't one of them because nobody wants your life. Baby, look, no lies detected in what she has to say. Nobody wants that type of life, child. We already know that the single motherhood is prevalent and it's an epidemic and, and people are out here using government assistance to save their lives and they're not trying to do anything. They'd rather do that than, than do it the right way and get with a man who actually want to be with them and raise their kids in the family together, you know, and build together. Everybody just want to go out and just lay up and make babies and, and, and depend on the government to take care of them and then brag about it. So I thought this was interesting. And y'all let me know what y'all think of this video. Comment, like, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already hit that bell to be notified when I go live or post new content, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.